Hi, this is Ian Berry. I had the great privilege over more than 30 years and going to more than 40 countries as a professional speaker. I've been privileged and honoured to be in the room with more than a million people. Since 2012, I've progressed from presentations to having more conversations with small groups. But over this time, what I've noticed, broadly speaking, is that there are three kinds of people. From a disposition perspective, the first kind are happy being miserable. The second are happy being mediocre. And the third, happy being magnificent. Way back in 2000, I looked at a research project. More than 50,000 people were involved. I think it was the Leadership Council. And what they found in terms of people being fully engaged or not in their work, that around 11% were disengaged from their work. About 13% were fully engaged in their work and a massive 76% were open to persuasion. Those were the words that, that they used. What a massive opportunity. Now, fast forward 22 years, and in some organizations, not a lot has changed. I wonder about your organization. Doesn't really matter how many people you have. My work primarily has been with folk who have 100 up to about less than 1,000 employees. And I've been up close and personal with about 300 of those organizations. And these numbers still seem to play out. There are more people open to persuasion then are either fully engaged or disengaged in their work. Now, I've got some, some insights I want to share with you. There's three today, and I'm going to put some, some links to some more resources that will help you to shift people from being happy being miserable or happy being mediocre up to happy being magnificent. Now, this is video three, and I'll also put links to the first two about this whole idea of happy being magnificent. I think we were born this way. And then something happens to us and we choose either happy being mediocre or happy being miserable. And for some people, this disposition remains the, our whole lives. Three things we can do organisationally. Just let me put up a little chart here. There's, I think there's three things we can do. And the first one, what we, what we need to do, get that to stay there if I can. Uh, what we need to do more than ever is to transform meetings. This includes performance reviews, any kind. We need to transform them. Now, the way that we can do this is to make sure that we're not having meetings, the typical thing where there's people having dialogue, but really there's no conversation. Rather, we need to get to conversations. And I think that there are at least eight things that matter. Alan Parker and myself have been exploring this in a series, conversations about conversation about conversations. And I'll, I'll put some links to the work that Alan and I have been doing. But conversations need to be candid, convivial, compassionate, conscious, compelling. And, and through our conversations, Alan and I have added civil and calm and continuous, and probably a ninth, they need to be caring. Now, as I say, I'll put, some, I'll put some links in there. The second thing that we can do, and it's really all about shifting to a human being-centered organization, the second thing that we can do is to throw out job descriptions. Most of them, are not worth the paper they're written on. They talk about tasks. And often down the bottom, they say, and anything else, anything else directed or, or words that affect, they're hardly ever about relationships. And the key to all roles is relationships and what value is being delivered and exchanged. Now, in the links, resources to help you, I'll, I'll give a template for role clarity. The third thing that we can do to move to a human being centered organization and to shift people from either happy being miserable, mediocre, or and to get them up to magnificent. The third thing that, that we can do is to shift 
culture. Away from what we do around here, which has been the typical explanation of culture to more focus on who we are. Sure, it is about what we do, but it's more about who we are. There are 15 conversations that count. I mentioned those pillars, candid, convivial, compassionate, and so on. There are 15 conversations that count. And I'll, I will put a link to a playbook that I've written about those 15. Just these three things, get, get these three things right, transform meetings, throw out job description, and replace them with role clarity statements, shift to a culture that's about being underpinned by 15 conversations that count, and you will be in a place where you'll have more people happy being magnificent, and the results that will follow will be profound. We'll see you next time.